Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Love Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to use Singularity on your SaaS projects. And Singularity is a awesome, very flexible grid framework that you can use to build um, pretty much any type of grid that you like. And so in the last video, we showed you how to install SaaS globbing, and we set that, us, set that up with this require. Now, to install this gem, we can really install it the same way that we installed the previous uh, globbing gem. So we can say sudo gem install, and then it's singularity gs. Now this is going to install singularity. However, they do say on their site that the preferred method is to make a, a gem file, and then run the bundle command, bundle install. Um, and that definitely works, uh, but if you just have this project like this and you're, um, you know, running your uh, compass watch the same way we're doing here, it, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. If you were having uh, a bunch of gems, uh, maybe you use these gems on lots of projects, then it made sense to have a gem file with SAS compass singularity and then you could run bundle install and it would make sure that you have all of those things installed. So although we're not doing that with this method this time, uh, we have the gem installed nonetheless. So let's come back to our project and now we just really need to uh, require and we're gonna require in here singularity, sorry I'm gonna make sure I spell this correct, singularity gs, okay. And now we have our, our grid framework set up. Okay, so how do we use Singularity? Well, anywhere that we use the Singularity mixins that come with uh, the Singularity grid system, we'll have to import Singularity, just like we imported our variables and stuff like that. So at the top here, we can just say add import, and then again, uh, Singularity GS. and then semicolon. So just like that, we should be able to use uh, singularity. So let's check out our, our compass watch, right? Now you see we have all sorts of um, some errors here, right? Basically, it's a little confused. Uh, and that's because we have an unreadable singularity.js. And if you remember, in the last video, we made a modification to config.rb, and we had to restart Compass Watch. Since we didn't do that this time, it's giving us errors, so let's go ahead and Command C to cancel this out, and now we can then, once again, run Compass Watch. And you'll see that, in fact, we saved this, and there is no error saying that there's an unreadable singularity GS. So that's a success. We now have singularity being used on this project and we're ready to start creating our grid. So in the next video, we're gonna create a basic symmetric grid using singularity. It's gonna be non-responsive. It's not gonna be anything fancy, but it's going to be a grid system and it's going to work really well. So check it out. Uh, next video coming very soon. We're gonna be working with grid systems. So as always, this is Scott with Love Love Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter at Love Love Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye.